so welcome to intro to astro 2023 so we will be discussing about numpy scipy and astropy so i am kazi abu roshan and i am from indian association for the cultivation of science jadavpur kolkata india so what is the goal of today's discussion so today actually we are going to discuss how to use three major libraries that is numpy scipy and astropy and how they are useful in analyzing or doing astronomy now due to time constraint we cannot go into detail so we will just briefly see what these particular things are these are okay so let's start with numpy or numerical pi so what is it it is actually a open source package which is actually used all over science and engineering community now normally we know that python is actually very slow like this and uh, this particular numpy actually helps to speed up the code execution time okay so there are few examples of codes which actually create lists which we normally use in python and they act like in similar fashion there are a few more examples and again you can find more examples at the end of the video uh, you can visit the github or documentation but uh, the point is that why do you use numpy so and why do we use numpy in astronomy so there are many reasons but let me just point out two of these particular things the first is that numpy actually makes the code very fast so there is two examples where i have shown you what are the speed differences between numpy arrays and normal python lists and normally in astronomy we actually use huge data sets so this actually gives us a huge advantage the speed of advantage right but this is not all there is some other reason as an example let's take one single array like this and let's say that we are analyzing some data and i want to apply sine function on each of these particular values so typically i can use something like this for a python list normal python list but see in this particular method the thing we have to visit each element one by one to and apply the sine function this makes the code very inefficient and it actually makes it slow so we can actually use numpy arrays where you can actually directly give this particular a and it will give you the result something like this and because in astronomy we have to a apply functions again and again so this is one of the reasons to use numpy okay so let's uh, not go any further in numpy and let's just shift into scipy let's talk about scipy or scientific pi so what is it it is again another python package which actually basically uses numpy and it has many features like optimization and signal processing and all of these particular things but the most important thing is you can actually solve differential equations using this one of its feature and i am pretty much sure you guys know why or maybe you guys have guessed why i used uh, differential equations as the example because in the end i am a physicist just like uh, in the meme show okay but uh, the thing is uh, why do we use scipy in astronomy or where do we use that again i will take two examples let's see one particular data it is actually intensity versus time for a particular star and if you are curious of what system this particular data is something like this suppose i have a star something like that and i have a satellite at a particular point now as the star actually moves when it comes very closer the intensity increases and when it goes far away the intensity decreases right and the data actually represents something like this now suppose i want to find the time period of this particular date uh, particular star system to do that we actually use curve fit where we actually fit some curve along particular data and it is done using this particular example uh, thing and you can actually fit any type of function and uh, this particular curve is fitted and we have gotten something like this and here you can see the frequency is 1.5 the first uh, element of the array and it is indeed 1.5 so i you can see it is very powerful but uh, it is not the only thing the thing is that in scipy there are also many well known constant values loaded and you can access them using something like this okay so there will be much more examples in the github so you can again visit that so now let's see what is astropy so now let's see what is astropy or astronomical pi so it is actually a package which is strictly developed and completely written in python and strictly developed to do astronomy 
now what are some of this particular packages features so the core features or the most highlighted features are that it can actually read files like fits and also analyze data using that you can basically have access to most of the universal constant and you can transform between different astronomical coordinates and you can also perform different type of modelings of data and things like that but that's not all right you can have also do much more things and some of these are actually shown to build up your interest so now let's do some coding and let's see how to use astropy okay so now let's see if, or let's do few coding okay so i will be using this particular jupyter notebook and it will be there in the github so you guys can check this particular thing out later okay so i will not go through this numpy and uh, scipy you guys can take a look into this particular thing i will just go straight into uh, astropy okay so like i we just uh, discussed that astropy is a library which is normally used by this astronomy community and things like that if you guys don't have this astropy you guys can just basically install it using pip install astropy okay fine so now before say that before doing this particular astronomical calculation things like that we first have to understand few constants that is because in physics you see uh, whenever you are doing some analysis there are few formulas and in most of these particular things there are few constants which are very useful right like speed of light uh, the gravitational constant g or maybe the planck's constant so because of this particular reason it is very helpful if you have this constant values and astropy does indeed have this particular values so first let's see how to actually use this particular constant values okay so if you want to use this particular constants value you have, can actually basically import them particular fully from like uh, from astropy import constants and you can just call this whole thing out as something i have just uh, call this particular thing out using this and then to access any constant let's say g you will just write const dot g okay and if i run that you will you are uh, you can just basically see that it is giving me some sort of information right it's not just g you can also like access the mass of the sun the mass of the earth the radius of the earth and many more things okay so this is very simple right very trivial thing so what can we do using that so if you guys remember kepler's law uh, that is kepler's third law which actually correlates like uh, with time period with the same major axis of this particular orbit or orbit so using that uh, the knowledge which we have we can actually calculate the semi major axis of our earth and uh, sun orbit right semi major axis of that particular orbit. so how are we going to do that so i can basically call numpy because i want to i want few values like pi and things like that i want to use those particular things so i have called numpy because numpy has those you can also uh, call like math then i am calling a sub module which actually uses something like unit so we will learn about that later just bear with me for now and then i am defining a function which basically just using this formula find out the value of a right now i just run this out and then let's just put some values like t is the time period so i have to convert this whole thing into seconds because if you guys remember these things are like uh, given in terms of uh, like uh, second kg and things like that so i am calling it okay so i am just using that particular thing i have converted one year into second then i have called the mass of the earth the mass of the sun and then i have just uh, called the function and it gives me this particular value so you guys can check out if it is correct or not maybe you guys can check that particular thing. but see doing this particular things uh, there are few certain quantities uh, like almost all quantities other than this pi or maybe uh, this 2 which is in square um, in power all of these quantities actually have some units right and also there is a unit conversion uh, which is a little bit pain because we have to do it so is there a better way to do things yes indeed we have uh, astropy actually have a sub module which can do it for you and it is called unit so how to use that uh, you again call from astropy import unit as u and just as an example let's see the speed of light 
okay so it has some certain value see this unit this value is given uh, to us by in meters per second so this unit can do wonders it can convert from one unit to the other unit like i want the value of the c in terms of kilometer per second so the the way to do that is you write down the constant dot 2 and whatever you want like kilometer per second and it will give me the value in kilometer per second like this you can also convert in it directly in cgs unit like uh, it is shown here uh, i can just basically run it and it will give me the value in cgs unit okay and see uh, this is my plancks constant h right so if i run it it will give me certain information now if you guys remember its unit is joule second right now if i want to convert this particular thing in ev or mev okay that is in electron volt or mega electron volt i cannot do that right because one is like uh, angular momentum's unit and the other one's unit is like energy so i cannot do that and it will indeed tell me that you cannot do that okay fine so let's see another example let's see i want to calculate the rest mass energy of an electron so this is i think you guys are able to understand it so i if i run it you will get the value in like uh, kg meter square per second square or mev right fine now suppose i have this particular scalar and i want to give certain unit to it right like we have used it here t was just a scalar but i multiplied it with second to make it into time so uh, that is the way to basically do that you have a uh, like a scalar you as let's say a i want to i rep, i want to represent a as velocity so the way to do it is you write a into the unit of velocity which is meter per second so u dot m divided by u dot s and it will give me basically the thing which i want right this right so now uh, after knowing this units and like uh, values uh, constant values the next thing what uh, we need to do is to learn about coordinates right uh, even in case of like uh, kinematics we guys have first learn about coordinates because if you want to analyze few things we have to know where they are situated where this celestial bodies are situated. so there are many conventions to do that and uh, one of the most uh, used one is actually to used uh, right essential and declination so ra and dec and if you guys don't remember or don't know uh, this is one diagram which uh, actually can help you guys to understand that particular thing or you guys can actually find it out in many youtube lectures or in the previous year it was actually uh, discussed okay so uh, how do you find out the positions of any stars so the way to do that so let's say that i want to find out uh, the position of this particular star which is a part of the orion constellation so to do that uh, you first basically just call uh, sky coordinate okay so astro pi dot coordinates and from there you call sky coordinate then you just uh, use the name from name and give the particular things name whatever star you want to find and it will give you the coordinate in ra and dec okay and you can basically also uh, like uh, access individual values from here in this particular fashion it will give you values and it is giving you values in degree arc minute and arc second if you guys remember uh 1 degree means 60 arc minutes and things like that okay you can also define your own coordinate positions in this particular fashion and there is not only one way there are many ways to represent the same coordinate so if i run it in say each case you will get the same coordinate okay and also uh you suppose you have a like many objects and you want to define many coordinates one at a time uh not one at a time let's say together so you can actually basically use numpy arrays okay uh, here normal arrays are used but you can also use numpy arrays and it will give uh, it will do your job right okay so this is few of this little things what more we can do we can also actually use fits or read and write fit files okay so what are this particular fit files so this is a file format which is normally used by astronomers okay or astronauts to actually store the data 
so let's not go into that much further let's just uh, quickly see how to actually use this particular fits to make plots so so, so i have a fit file uh, in the same location as this particular notebook and it is called example data okay so to import it i first have to use this particular line and then i can just basically run it and it will import my data and i can basically see what is this type of file means it has some header and the information so i can also look into those and i can also look into individual cards which are basically like dictionaries so you can actually access the whole thing like you do for dictionaries and things like that uh, you then what you can do you can access the data and using matplotlib which will be discussed in some other video uh, you can basically just uh, plot these particular values containing in the fit file okay and there are few tools in actually astropy uh, visualization to actually make or sh see the details much more clearly so this is one of these particular codes which actually do that something like this beautiful plots okay so i will not go any further uh, this will be all for this particular uh, topic uh, so see uh, due to time constraint i was not able to go into much more detail there are many more things so if you guys want uh, you guys can check out this particular references uh, they are here uh, these are very nice and especially this one okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this particular lecture